I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job. Good job. Today, I'm going to talk about stress bonding and whether it's really a good technique to use for bonding rabbits. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We give it tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. And don't forget to check out all of my bunny merch. We have cute and funny t-shirts, different types of things you can check out <laughs> if you like cute bunny stuff. So first let's go over what stress bonding is. So, Cause some people have different ideas of what this means. So in general, when I talk about stress bonding, I am talking about basically mildly stressing out your rabbits by putting them together in kind of a scary situation. The idea of this is to put them into a scary situation together so that they comfort each other and hopefully form some kind of tentative friendship in the process. Examples of what I mean when I say this are taking your two rabbits for a car ride together because car rides tend to be scary for rabbits. You could also put them into a carrier or a basket or something and vacuum around them. Also, even something as simple as carrying a box or basket with your rabbits in them, carrying it around because of the, the shake that happens when you are carrying it around can be kind of stressful for your rabbits. So something like that is what I'm talking about when I mean stress bonding. Some people also include it as using like slick floors. Uh, so putting your rabbit on an area that has slippery floors so that they can't attack each other easily. I don't really recommend that one because there is a higher chance of them getting injured in that case. It's because if, they're, uh, if their feet can't get traction on the ground, there's a chance that they can um, there's a chance that they can end up kicking out their back or something like that. So I do not recommend that. Now there are definitely valid criticisms of stress bonding because you are purposefully stressing your rabbits out. You're purposefully scaring them. Um, and, um, and it's not really a pleasant situation for you to put your rabbits in. We all want to be kind to our rabbits and it's definitely understandable that there are criticisms to this technique. The first is that in general stress is not going to be good for your rabbit's health. Prolonged periods of stress can definitely cause um, digestive issues or exacerbate other health problems that they might have. So you definitely don't want to do stress bonding for long periods of time because of the potential for um, health issues or health concerns. <laughs> oh sweetie, I love you. I love you. There is also the concern that stress bonding can lead to injury, whether, as I mentioned earlier, it's because rabbits get so scared that they end up throwing their back out when they try to hop around, um, or sometimes when they're in closed spaces and stress bonding just isn't working, your rabbits um, may end up trying to attack each other, and with no place to run, they may end up injuring each other. Bonding in general does have a chance of injury for rabbits, so it's something that you always want to be wary of. And the other major criticism is that stress bonding doesn't create a true bond in rabbits, Stress bonding will only create a tentative friendship while they comfort each other, um, and it's unlikely to lead to a bond that lasts a long time. So these are definitely uh, valid concerns, and what we should take from this is that A, you definitely don't want to use just stress bonding in your bonding process because it is not likely to lead to a long-term bond, um, but and also you want to keep your stress bonding sessions short because you don't want to uh, keep your rabbits stressed out for long periods of time. So try to keep them to about 15 minutes so that you're not uh, scaring your rabbits more than you need to. That being said, I don't think stress bonding is always necessary. In fact, I think it should be avoided in most cases. The only times that you should really be stress bonding rabbits are when they are aggressive towards each other, highly aggressive towards each other, or very, very anxious around each other. The main one is going to be when your rabbits are aggressive towards each other. Uh, because what stress bonding can do, um, while it's not going to lead to a long-term bond, what it can do is get your rabbits to cooperate and feel comfortable around each other long enough that they can start to improve the bond when they are then put into a non-stress bonding scenario. And so you'll give them like 15 minutes or so in a stress bonding scenario, and then you'll put them back into a normal non-stress scenario into a pen together, and they will theoretically <laughs> be more willing to cooperate and more willing to start bonding then and they can start to improve their relationship. So if you are doing the normal bonding process and your rabbits just won't stop attacking each other, 
stress bonding is probably necessary. The other time that you might want to do a form of stress bonding is if your rabbits are just way too anxious around each other. Uh, they won't approach each other or they keep running away from each other. Maybe one runs away from the other and that's agitating the other rabbit who just wants to be friends. Putting them into a small space together and mildly stressing them out can help that rabbit who is afraid to start to trust the other rabbit more and it will make them more likely to bond. So those are really the only two scenarios where stress bonding is necessary. Now, of course, everybody has their different methods for bonding rabbits because all rabbits are different and it may be necessary in some other scenarios that I'm not thinking of, but generally I just recommend it for aggressive rabbits and for highly anxious rabbits. Um, and only for short periods of time because you don't want to risk health issues that could occur from prolonged stress in rabbits. And don't forget to sign up for the Bunny Lady mailing list. I send out bi-monthly tips and tricks to make sure that you have happy and healthy bunnies in your home. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, go ahead and sign up. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope that I'll see you next time.